Welcome back to our Let's Play of Star Trek The Next Generation Echoes from the Past for the, for the Sega Genesis. I am your host, the Retro-ish Gaming Critic. Now, one thing I forgot to mention last time is on top of not using maps or whatever with one possible exception, I'm also not going to abuse the save state ability. I'm going to treat it like as if I were able to save the game as normal, as in I'll only use it when I'm up here on uh, on the ship. Um, as I shown you in the first video, you can go to the to the computer and save your game there. And you can do that, I believe, at any point when you're up here on on the bridge. So with that in mind, let's continue the story. We are going to help a Vulcan scientist. So let's get down there and rescue her. Now, I've already formed my away team. Um, I don't believe it actually matters if you take Picard down there or not. I don't think it does. I mean, as in, if he... I don't think anyone dies. I think they just get like, unconscious or something. But I don't think it really matters. But being a fan of the show, <clears throat> I don't like to send the captain down. But that's me. So we've got our away team picked out, and I've got all main cast. Primarily because, as you see down there at the bottom of the screen, their stats, for lack of a better term, are simply better. I mean, look at wharfs. Everything is full except for the uh, technical ability. Whereas everyone else, nah. <laughs> So here we go. As you can see, we start off right in the middle of a, of a fight. Now, each member of your away team does have limited AI scripting, that is, artificial intelligence scripting. Um, some programming that, tell, that gives them some measure of autonomy. It just tends to be poor they tend to have no sense of tactics whatsoever. They just go right up to an enemy and shoot the, the heck right out of them. Which, obviously, is not the best idea. So, I generally like to gather them up first, as I showed you in the video where we went to the mines. Have them follow me. And then set them all to, to, to use their phasers. Why does this not work? Well, I'm forgetting something already. This is going to be interesting. Now, there are a lot of Romulans. Ah, there, there's one. With monsters, or monsters, with enemies in general, there are going to be a lot of maps like this with doorways and whatever else. If you can, let me get to a decent position here. If you can fire your phaser through it to have most of your body blocked, like I'm showing with Worf there, you'll generally take less damage. Some enemies move in incredibly quickly, so that actually won't help you much. Now, I like to fire the phaser off screen because just because you can't see the enemies doesn't mean they don't exist. Some games don't show enemies. Or rather, as far as some games are concerned, enemies don't quote-unquote exist until you can actually deal with them. This is not one of those games. Another thing that makes it rather difficult. Okay, we've taken care of the Romulans. Let's check in on the good doctor. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Then 
this is uh, as far as the story uh, interactions go the plot related interactions I try to be true to the spirit of the original well of the uh, next generation series so this one to me seems more like something uh, Commander Riker would say so that's what we're going to go with And the same here. I'm gonna go with this one. And that was our first combat-oriented away team experience. It that is honestly a pretty good indicator of the rest of the of the game's away team experiences. Um, you can only have up to four away team members at, at any one time. Um, and every area you will beam down into <clears throat> will be divided in that sort of manner with rooms or passages or whatnot with occasionally roaming enemies. Uh, let's see what Picard has to say about where we should go next. Resume standard patrol. Okay. Well, we need some photon torpedoes. Now there are three star bases. I Let's see one is in Pentor Zeta Five. No. <laughs> yes, it's been a while. I think it's Pentor Blank Five. Let's try Epsilon. No. It'll be down it'll be listed down there along with the moons which are usually listed by a Roman numeral and an Arabic letter. And toward Delta. Gamma. Wow, it's Watch it not even B5. Be like Pintor or something 4 or whatever. Eesh, it's been a while. Now there's also one in CODIS. CODIS Zeta 5? That's the one I was thinking of. CODIS Zeta 5. Okay. That's where we are going to head. Ooh, yeah, sometimes they do start out just trying to kick your butt. It doesn't happen too often with the Romulans, which are eh, the majority of the enemies in the game. Should we be diplomatic when they hail us? Eh, I'm thinking on it. <laughs> I, I find that funny. It's There seems to be a random grab bag of of communication possibilities. So, you, this message is odd considering they kind of fired first. Uh, let's see, I forget which one is the more diplomatic one. This one sounds more diplomatic. Something Picard would say. I don't think he would mention Dr. Talaris.
now continue on our way to the Starbase. As far as other enemies in the game go, I believe... Well, uh, hold on. There is... Also, okay, as far as enemies go, there are two... Uh, races which were made up just for the game one of which is a pain to deal with I think it's part of a sub sub quest I think I've completed it once out of no twice maybe out of the entirety of the times I've played this and I being a uh, trekker in my nerdly youth I spent a lot of time playing this game it's a pain that's what he has or yeah what he has to say Orion's Alpha 4. You heard him, Orion's Alpha 4, which we will get to next time. Thank you for watching.